So the Denver Broncos are benching Russell Wilson. After losing to the Patriots, they're benching the guy that has a total of 29 touchdowns to 8 interceptions. Over 200 passing yards a game. With receivers that look like Lil Jordan Humphrey. Jerry Judy, who can't even put two feet on the ground when he gets a pass in his hands five yards away from the sideline. And Corlett Side, who has been a stud, but it was out last week. Even still, Russell Wilson managed to overcome Marvy Mims, who complains about not getting the ball, dropping the ball, leading to a touchdown. Overcoming all that to throw over 200 yards, like I said, with probably Lil Jordan Humphrey as his best option. No type of tight end. Oh, no, 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 no. But he's the problem over there, so Sean Payton is benching him. And, you know, people that want to, you know, that or maybe pro this, maybe Broncos fans could be thinking, we got to look towards the future, see if we got anything in this stid ham. But Russell Wilson, if he had an expiring contract, as much as I am a supporter of that guy, I could see it. I could see what you're saying. Maybe, you know, you have to look forward to something else because you're not winning, whatever. But if they were to cut this man, he is going to be owed $85 million. So even if you want to say uh, his stats are good, but he's not actually good, even though he had no receivers to throw to, throw to, and he still managed to have great stats, you know, he's the problem over there. Even if you think that, you would still want to keep his value high by finishing off the season and not showing that uh, we don't like this guy, we want him out of town. Because now, how, what are you going to be able to trade for him? What team wants to trade for that contract where you wouldn't even keep him starting for the rest of the season? So it's going to be tough for them, and I think the issue over there is clearly Sean Payton. That man's ego has gone out of control. And we've seen this in the NBA and in the NFL. Can't pay coaches all that money, especially when they are not proven that they are that guy. And the NBA... The highest paid coach in NBA history, I believe, is who the Pistons just got in Monty Williams. And they just broke the record for most losses in a row. With Monty Williams in the NBA, I don't think it's an ego issue. But maybe there's a little bit of an issue of, you know, I got my money. I'm good. There's not really a lot of pressure on me to, you know, get some results out here. And with Sean Payton, I think he just thinks... All right, I'm going to do whatever I, the heck I want to do. I'm not accountable to anybody, and it doesn't really need to make sense. It's just, mm, you know what? I want to get my guy in here. I want to show that, you know, I'm really running the show, and, you know, I don't really love this guy, so I'm going to change everything, and I think it's going to get a lot worse in Denver because you got a guy that was arguably the best part of your team when your defense couldn't do a stick of thing. He was still dicing defenses up. The running game this year, they've ran the ball a lot, but they haven't had a lot of success. He's been quite solid from the beginning of the season up until now with little to nothing to throw to, with Cortland Sutton being his only above-average weapon at all. Not a good slot receiver, not a good tight end, really nothing besides running backs and Cortland Sutton. And he was still able to ball. So Sean Payton, I think his ego has just gone out of control. I don't think this makes any type of sense. I think the real person that needs to be taking accountability is Sean Payton because as I'm watching the game last week, I'm saying, why are you taking timeouts? What are you doing? Are you trying to let them score here? It just seemed very odd some of the decisions Sean Payton's made this year. And sometimes when fans blame um, coaches, I feel like we're not in the locker rooms. We don't know how good they are schematically. We don't know exactly what the vibe is. We don't know exactly how good that coach is. You know, fans like to blame like Mike Tomlin with the Steelers. But on the same side, on the same thing, like he really has no quarterback and they still have a winning record with Mesa Rudolph, Kenny Pickett. Man, maybe he just needs a quarterback over there. With Sean Payton, there are clear things that you could point to and say, that is the coach's fault. Calling those timeouts last week made no sense whatsoever. And you really lost him the game. But instead of saying, you know what, that's on me. I need to be better managing the game. Those timeouts, you know, it didn't make sense. It's overly aggressive when we're already tied up. There's no reason to be trying to get the ball back that hard with 20 seconds left and no timeouts. We should have just let it go into overtime. No, he didn't do that. He said... Russ, get out of here! You know, not throwing challenge flags against the Lions. The defense getting busted up. Uh, you know what I'm going to do. Russell Wilson! How are you not carrying us right now? This dude's headed out for Russell Wilson. He wants to get him out of there. And sorry, Denver fans. I think things are going to get a lot worse. And I don't think they're going to be getting better under Sean Payton. But 
That's just my thoughts. Maybe people disagree. Let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and subscribe. Please, yes, sir.